Were you summoned by a Ouija board? Were you summoned here by anger through actions of other people? <laughs> don't, don't answer before I ask. I'll slap you upside the head. There you go. Is that the same thing as a pendulum then? Uh, different? Similar but different, a different thing together. You have a question? Nope. These would be considered divining rods. Okay. You do realize that uh, you're going to have to deal with me, right? <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> and not just you. Uh, hello yeah. there. Our team is coming for you, all right? You're not to affect this family anymore. I'm going to choke slide me straight to hell. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> mm. So there you go. Yeah, you do have uh, things here. Okay. And uh, mm. we are going to get rid of them for you. Thank you. Mm. When you started to use them out my, my, my chest was really heavy. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that's because they don't want us here. And they don't want us to get rid of them. Because mm -hmm. they want to be able to control you. Right. And basically what they're trying to do, they're trying to convince you that you're crazy, that these things that you feel and, and your gifts that you have are, are not real. And it, because they don't, they don't want people to have gifts and they'd rather you feel crazy and they'll try to make you feel that way. You're not crazy. The problem that you've been having is you haven't talked to anybody, right? Um, well, a while ago I was looking for like a shaman and stuff like that. No problem. <laughs> After, mm -hmm. oh yeah, awesome. <laughs> Add things That's a good element. thing. Okay. That's a good thing. Elementals are normally neutral. Okay. Mm. Elementals are very neutral. They never really get involved with human beings. They're not really, they don't really care for human beings one way or the other, right? So to, to elementals, humans are usually just, you know, while they're there. But when, when a human does something nice for them, they reward the human, you know, with some good luck or whatever. If the, if the human does something bad towards them, well, then you're in for a rough day. <laughs> so if you have things around you that aren't good, then that's why you would have, like, lots of bad luck and lots of bad things. Mm -hmm. okay. Hi, I'm Danny for Chasing Bones and Spectres. And today I'm going to be getting rid of negative entities and negative things in a house and blessing the good spirits and having a conversation with them. Oh, okay, so what we're going to be doing here at Bobby Jones is I have brought with me, uh, I wish to talk with the good spirits, so I gave them two options. I brought my rods to speak with them, plus an EVP. So I brought this as well. So that's for speaking communications. And when all the negative stuff's out, I brought an orange to give to the good spirits. I also brought crossroads dirt and I brought holy salt <clears throat> now the reason I brought the crossroad dirt is for any bloodline attachments and stuff like that this will soak that up get rid of them once and for all the holy salt <clears throat> is going to be used to help seal the property and to get rid of um, any negative stuff but it will not affect any of the good spirits whatsoever it has no effect on the good spirits and that's why I brought I know you're here, and I know what you are. I plan to bring you out to the wilderness, where there are trees, water, vegetation, and I will leave you with some jasmine. So, get into the stone, and I will get you. I prefer to do this a calm and friendly way versus the alternative. Okay, so I'm leaving three full incense and the one we used and white feather here with the client so that for the next week or so she can do this and Hopefully that will keep things calm until the residual energy is gone. Alright, so what we have here is called 
crossroads. So, all right. Uh, a lot of people know crossroads is a place of making deals and bringing things to it. Crossroads, so, it does the opposite. It draws anything negative into it and closes it so they can't get through. And then I can dispose of it at my leisure. So I'm going to go over here because you need a flat surface. crossword dust in order for it to trap, drag, kick and scream, whatever needs to be done, to collect all negative energies, any negative spirits, you have no choice. You will be trapped into here and I will remove you from this place once and for all. You are never to bother this family again. Also, <coughs> any entities, any spirits, any curses, anything that is bloodline related. So in other words, if you were following this family due to bloodline, that bloodline is now severed. You never again have any right to this family, to this bloodline. It ends here and now. Only the good may be here. This here is holy salt. Now holy salt is different than crossroads dust because what it does, any residual thing that's negative will be absorbed by this. However, at the same time, it gives blessings to the good spirits. So for the good spirits, it's, it's kind of a good energy uh, for them to have. But for anything negative, well, it's not such a good deal. So now I'll head over there. Okay, so just letting these sit for a little bit to give off the energy and absorb the energy. This is the Crossroads Salt Dust, either or, I guess. Um, it's taking up or absorbing all the negative that's in the house, and uh, it's forcefully going to get rid of it so we can dispose of it as we wish. Over here, we have Holy Salt, which powers the good spirits and will take off anything residual that the crossroad salt may have missed. So, we have both of these just sitting here doing their thing, and in a little bit we will pick them up and deal with them as needed. Wait, go. Alright, I will now collect anything negative. You are banished, and the bloodline is broken. I <clears throat> okay, now that we've, we've done the work here, we've cleaned out, you can feel it's a lot lighter. I can feel it's lighter. Um, I'm going to take, after this, I'm going to take out anything that's negative. I mean, we'll be taking the stone. So, that little critter is, is now with Blaine. He's going to release it in a nice place away from here where it will be happy. I'll be taking out the crossroads dirt, salt. And the holy salt, I'll be taking that with me to dispose of it properly. So now that we know everything that's dark, residual or not residual, is been dealt with, I am now going to offer this orange to the good spirits. All right? Father in heaven, Jesus, the elementals, the four directions, the four animals, all good intention, I offer you 
to the good spirits this orange. May you have it to give you energy, to give you strength for any journey that you wish to take. I give you this out of respect and out of kindness so that you may feel better. And I would really appreciate it if you would talk with me for a moment. And that is yours. I'm not telling you to talk to me. I'm just wishing you will. I've got two ways to communicate with you. I have this recorder. So you may speak to me by, by coming up to this light. We won't hear you with our own ears. But you can talk to this light and we will be able to listen back to your voice. Okay? So I'm going to turn that on. And if you wish to talk to us, you can. And I also have these rods, so you can use those rods as well. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Good spirits, please show me what you use for a yes. Crossing is yes? Okay, could you please show me a no? Thank you. Um, I noticed there was an old man and an old woman. Are you bound to the land or, or okay, let's add to do this one question at a time. Are you bound to the land? Yes. Okay, thank you. Do you like this family? Yes, okay, thank you. Are you the couple that have been protecting the children and keeping the ugly things away? Yes. Well, the family thanks you for that, and I thank you for that. That is a wonderful thing that you're doing, and uh, we thank you kindly for that. Um, do you wish to stay here? Is that your wish? That's a big yes. Okay. Um, no one wants you to leave. You don't have to leave. I've talked to the lady here, and she said as long as you're good and you don't scare nobody, that you're welcome to stay. And uh, are you okay with that? Do you agree? that you're going to be helpful and never scare anybody, at least on purpose? Yes, you agree to those terms? Okay, then you are welcome to stay. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to ask you. Is there anything else that you want me to ask? No, you're good with that? Okay. Um, so anyway, we'd like to bless you. Uh, we give you this food. Um, thank you very much for taking care of this family. I'm quite certain this family is happy to have you here. And you never have to leave as long as you remember that this family is their house. Hang in there. If you don't like the changes, you will like them soon. Okay? It's her place now. But you're welcome to be here as long as you're happy. Understood? Understood. Okay, good. Thank you. There was a mirror in the kitchen. They were looking in the mirror in the kitchen and they saw a reflection. Was that you? No? No. Okay. Uh, do you know, whatever it was, is it now gone? It's now gone? Okay, good. Thank you. So it wasn't them uh, that you saw in the reflection, but whatever it was, it's no longer here. Okay, thank you, and we'll see you later. Okay, so... Get this little one back to the house. As promised, I will release you here. There's trees, there's water, there's vegetation, there's everything you'll need. I also gift you some jasmine. You're now free to live in this area, and you are not allowed back at that house.